Do you remember oh, a video I put up? I think it was probably last spring. Uh, uh, what was it? It was in June, I think it was. I wasn't feeling so good. Uh, in fact, I'd been in the hospital. And uh, the FFA guys, FFA guys from the high school came over and helped me a lot. Today, they about half them guys stopped in here. Just we're here to help if you need any help. So we can plow or anything. I just we've had some moisture. The ground's too wet to be out there. They said, "Well, sweep down the cobwebs in your barn." I says, "Okay, go down and sweep out the cobwebs in my barn." They come back up the house. I was eating breakfast. Knock on the door. And says, there's no cobwebs in your barn. Um, just a minute. You can clean up my equipment. So, okay. So I take him down the shed, open the shed door. They... <laughs> they says, well, what can we do for you? He says, uh, half of us came here, the other half went down to Amos. I wonder what he's got them doing, I said. <laughs> I said, okay. You said I taught you some things about farming. Let me teach you another important thing. Keeping your place looking sharp. Now you can rake my leaves, uh, trim extra weeds around the buildings. It's almost warm enough now if anything needs some paint. I got cans of paint. You guys scout around and see what it needs. Okay, this is shops open. All the tools you should need is in there. So they went out, looking like little little buckers out there. <laughs> and uh, I called Emil up and I says, What do you got your guys doing? <laughs> he says, Sweeping cobwebs. <laughs> but I says, uh, I didn't tell these guys anything yet, but um, if they want to, why don't we throw them a cookout tonight down by the river in the pasture? That would be pretty nice. I says, we still got some brats and um, hamburgers and stuff from uh, our festival. I'll get them thawed out. And they says, you still got that one of those big five-gallon drums of ice cream in your freezer? He goes, yeah. I says, why don't we use that and says, all our a cake and uh, um, I know this guy, he drives a Pepsi truck. I says, uh, can you get me like five cases of Pepsi and make some Mountain Dew too? I know them guys like Mountain Dew. He says, yeah, yeah, I can. So, uh, well, uh, while our guys was working, Amon, I took a tractor and Amon met me down by the river and we set up uh, a nice thing. We have a nice little bonfire and stuff. We're trying to think festivities for to keep them entertained, but uh, generally they can come up with something themselves. So uh, we thought a couple ideas. Uh, uh, compare farm stories. Uh, we take down the Hordes Dairymen and Wisconsin agriculturists, and we get, we can read stories out of the air. <laughs> but anyway, um, after I talked with Emil. I says, uh, you guys busy tonight? He says, Amos Emil, guys and my guys, you, if you guys want to, we're going to have a cookout down by the river for you. He says, Amos guys and your guys? I says, yeah, that gave me an idea. We can play kind of, some kind of a sporting game. Amos will be their captain, I'll be your captain. And what kind of game could it be? Little uh, light touch football, maybe. Then we're gonna have a bonfire and everything. And uh, says, what about lights? Says, I got plenty of tractors with lights on them. She says, you know that would be fun. Says, you guys are game. See when Emil comes up with his gun, his team. Of course. You no, know, know what they're going to call themselves. The A-Team, because it's Amo. 
since we'll be the RB team. Ronnie boy! <laughs> We're gonna have fun tonight! <laughs> but you should see him, dude. Got my leaves, leaves all raked. One of them got my lawnmower out and chopped them all up and then put them, picked them up and one of them using a noise spreader and they're cleaning my barn. And they're hauling them out in the field. I tell ya. I'm proud of them. And uh, why'd they come back to me and Amo? I don't know if it's a class project or what, but maybe they just decided to do it on their own. <laughs>